Um, today I'm going to talk about defensive concepts. Um, one of the things we've changed pretty significantly defensively, our philosophies a little bit, and a little bit of that is things I've seen as, I don't think I may, may or may not mention this, but uh, I've been pretty fortunate to coach internationally for, I can't remember now, like five summers, something like that, and uh, seeing some of the things that are happening around the world, but also as well the way our senior teams are, are being coached and some of the things, and it's interesting to open your mind to different terminologies, different ways of doing things. I think, I think as soon as we start stop evolving as coaches, we should probably get out of it. I mean, I can't, well, I'm getting a bit of an echo here, I don't know if you're, I can't, uh, I can't tell you how much I've changed things that I do from even the last three years, the last five years, seven years, ten years, and I would hope, you know, that that's always going to change. Having said that, I always see sometimes older coaches, retired coaches, people who are especially not in it every day, seeing them kind of think of the game the same way as they've thought of it. And it's, uh, as soon as that happens, if any of you, if I become the crotchety old guy who can't change his ways, just come shoot me or something, right? Get, get me out of the game until I, I gotta get out, right? And there's gonna be a time, it's gonna happen. It'll happen to you, it'll happen to me, we gotta get out. So hopefully we can give you some new stuff here. Uh, you guys keep playing that game. Let's come out and play, five versus four scramble. So I'm going to demo using some of our guys for the first bit, then I'm going to use those guys after. This is a game we play sometimes to warm up, but it's also just some defensive concepts thing. Now before I kind of get into it, um, this isn't going to be a logical progression, but more of just bits and pieces of things on how we teach certain things and the way we do things. Many of these are things I just made up on my own. Some of them are things I stole from someone else. I'll give some credit right now. So past few summers, I've had the pleasure of coaching with uh, Coach Roy Rana, who's from Ryerson University. He's now traveling around Europe on his year off with the uh, various EuroLeague teams. Uh, Scott Morrison's with the NBA D-League. He's the head coach of Maine Ranclaws and a guy named Jamie, Jamie McNeely, who's at Virginia Tech, who have been, uh, I've picked up things from all those guys recently in the summers, as well as all my coaches in the past. But trying to give them new stuff. So one of the things we do just for fun is trying to teach guys how to, how to play two, how to play angles and do things here. So very simple game, five versus four. The offense is not allowed to move. They can pass fake, they can move the ball however they want. They can't dribble, they can't move. Defense must cover five guys. All the, all the rule is you're trying to get an open three. That's the only shot you're allowed to get is an open three. Defense must try to obviously contest every three and get a clean rebound, meaning the ball cannot hit the floor. Okay, simple as that. Ready, guys, play. I'll let them play first and then we'll go. Flip it, flip it, flip it. Let's go. Right away, right away, right away. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's flip it, flip it, flip it, flip it. More skip passes, more skip passes, make it tougher. More skip passes, make it tougher. Steal, good, flip it. Nice deflection wire. Open three, take it. Shoot the ball, open three, shoot it. Flip it, here we go, here we go. Now, while they're playing, why are we doing this few different things, right? We want to move the ball offensively, or we want them to talk a little bit, okay? Hang on, freeze one second, freeze one second. Now, here's a really important concept that happens all the time that we play this, that I try to relate back to the game. This happens all the time. I'm this guy, I'm on my own. I've got two on my side. Many of you play zone defense. This happens all the time in zone. It happens all the time also in ball screens. Right? Ball screen, high ball screen situation. I've got to guard the roller. I've got a pop guy. Right? I've got two to play. Happens all the time. The concept is this. I want to play in the line of one guy, but close enough to get to the other. So now any pass to Wyatt would be a lob, and I could get there pretty easily. I can't have him throw a frozen rope, right? I can't have him throw a bullet, or I'm in trouble. And, the, and these guys are in trouble, right? Darm's making some kind of rotation, but now if I, it's two passes, if he's got to go there, then we can make this rotation, right? 
So defensively all the time, player, our, our guys are really bad at this, we travel around the court like this. And we're trying to get used to guys, even in man, being able to play with their hands up. Okay? All the time. Go ahead, guys. Play. You'll also notice there's a 12-second shot clock. I'd probably reduce that to 10, actually, for these guys. Okay? 10-second shot clock. We try to add shot clock in almost everything we do. You notice how in games, you... Uh... Oh, let him go here. Go ahead, make that rotation. One more, one more, one more. Nice job. Good. Close it down. Good. Okay, stop there, guys. Stop there, stop there, stop there. Sit down one second. A couple guys out here in a second. You notice how in games, and you guys all do this, you probably coach your kids to do this, right? It gets down to the last eight seconds, and the whole bench has to yell, seven, six, five, right? I hate that. I think it just creates a sense of panic. Why can't we develop kids who have the skill to know the shot clock and play with it? Well, how do you do that? Add the shot clock in all your drills. All of our half-court stuff, all of our defensive stuff, we put a shot clock of some kind. Maybe it's 18, maybe it's 14, maybe it's a full 24, maybe it's 12, whatever. A lot of times we'll do defensive shell. Start at 24, but at 8, it's live. But no one ever says 8. The players, they can see. The defense can see that. The offense can see that. We have to develop the skill of learning how to be shot clock players. So that in a game, you're not relying on me to do that. Now, we still may do that sometimes to make sure, but I don't want to have to rely on that. I just want to be basketball players, right? I want them to learn how to play and understand some stuff, okay? You guys, come off a second. Let's go. We're jumping from spot to spot here, okay? Let's go. Uh, give me a couple matchups. We'll go narrow card zigzag quickly. Give me two matchups here with the ball. These guys don't want to do this drill. We're getting some rookies. Now, how many of you guys do zigzag? Probably everybody, right? Does some kind of zigzag, right? Some kind. I'm not a big zigzag fan either, but we can adjust zigzag. It's too artificial to me to just go, okay. It's not what we're doing, okay? Also, many of us in the way we teach defensive footwork, if you ever actually watch a video of your players doing this, that's not how they play D. That's not how they actually play D. They cross their feet all the time. They turn and sprint and then get back all the time. That's part of defense. It's part of being laterally agile. Okay, is being able to change that footwork. So we work on that a lot. Two parts of it. Actually, let's do this. I need one more up. Give me one more quickly. Z, why you got it? Of course, the vets are all making the rookies do this stuff, right? Okay, let's go, let's go first of all, slide, run, slide. Two wits to live, okay? So, Dom, come on out. So, I'm going to demo here. What Dom's going to do is, okay, he's going to change his speed. He's going to obviously go from slow to just kind of slow, because I'm demoing right now. When Raj is doing it, when Raj is doing it, obviously going to go faster, right? So, I've got to be able to change from this kind of footwork, okay, to go faster, to this kind of footwork to get back. Right? That fundamental step is a really important thing that I think we don't teach well. From this to this, back to this. Okay? You guys got it? We got two hits to live one on one. Go. Ready, Durham? Here we go. Here we go. Let's work them. Good. Here we go. Get into them. Get into them. Get into them. Good. Get into them. Get into them. Good. 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 No open hand. No open hand. No open hand. Get the hand off. Get the hand off. Good. Play. 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 Good. Lee hand up. Now it's live. Now it's live. Next group. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now I have the whole team. We alternate sides. Two groups going at once. Let's go, okay? Get many, many, many reps. Okay, now stop. One thing fundamentally. Dom, come here. Okay? We're trying to teach some fundamental things. I want lead hand up, trail hand down. But the other thing which I think is important to teach, if there's any officials in here, you might say, that's a foul. And I would say to them, yes, in the rule book, the rule book doesn't really matter. What matters is what's actually called a foul. Right? Really, I've said this before at this clinic. Really important, really important, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Really important difference here, right? Is a foul is not 
you do something that's against what says in the rule book, a foul is when the ref blows its whistle. If the ref doesn't blow his whistle, it wasn't a foul. Right? So if I'm guarding Darm, right, what I can get away with a lot of times, imagine Darm's dribbling, right, is little, like, bump checks, bump checks, bump checks, right? Or if I'm tight, what I can do a lot of times is bar arm. As long as I don't extend that bar arm, as long as I don't put an open hand, it's rarely called. But you'd be amazed at how much you can steer a player by having my wrist on his hip, especially if it's in tight. Okay? But that's something players have to learn. Okay? That's something players have to learn and just, right, figure it out as they go. Come to this side, guys. Let's go narrow court. Actually, sorry, sorry, sorry. They'll see it better on this side. Let's go narrow court one-on-one. So now, instead of traditional zigzag, again, we play narrow court. So for these guys, I'm going to play volleyball line and out to sideline. That's it. That's the whole court they have. It is not zigzag. It is one-on-one, -on -one, and that's the whole space they have. With high school and younger, I would go smaller than this. Usually, you have badminton courts that go across, right? And on most courts, the badminton line to the sideline is pretty good. All it is is about one big slide. That's all it is, and that's all we want them to work on right now. We want them to work on using their chest to stop people, right? And our first slide. That's all it is, okay? You guys ready? Live one-on-one, -on -one. go. Come on, play, play. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Darm is terrible. Good, so Darm is just allowing him to go up the floor, right? Darm is gonna come and he's gonna cut him off. He's gonna use his body. So I'm guarding Raj. Raj tries to beat me, right? Good, 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 good. good. And I get my body there and I get used to the concept of my chest being there, getting contact, getting away from him, and resetting. Okay, really important concept. Try it again. Here we go, here we go. Let's go, Darm. Cut him off, cut him off. Good, that's it, good. Go next group, next group, next group. Now, just so we know it's live. Now, the rule is, if the ball handler steps out of bounds to beat him, he must stop to let him catch up. But if he can get past him without stepping out of bounds, live, go, play, beat him down the floor. Let's go, guys, keep going, keep going. Finish it. Work him, don't reach across. Beat him, beat him, rush, beat him, rush. Good, 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 okay? So we're playing one-on-one. -on -one. Our emphasis is chest, our emphasis is hands, right? Where's my body, where am I playing? We got it? Good. Give me, uh, okay, those guys are done for a while now. I need three. One, two, three, you're gone. Uh, me, uh, yeah. Go, give me a three on three, or three, one closeouts. Just go closeouts. Match up, let's go start corner. All five spots, all five spots. Three closeouts, okay, three closeouts. You're, you're next guy in line. Let's go. Okay, now, I'll go. You can go ahead. They can do stuff while I'm talking. They don't really want to hear me anyways. They want to watch you guys do things. Good. Good, good, good. Ha, ah, not good. Go, go, go. Good, good, good. Go again. Come on. Go again. Quicker. Let's go. Good. Now, now, good. You guys have all showed them how not to do it. Now we'll see if we can teach it and do it properly. Okay? Thanks very much, gentlemen. Okay? Now, closeouts. Really big thing, side story here a little bit. We've had success uh, with our young men's national teams in recent years. One of our biggest advantages at the younger age groups is we have athleticism. We have athleticism at lots of spots. Never was more evident than this summer. So we played in, uh, in Crete in the World Championships. And one of the things we just started doing was switching every ball screen. And we have the luxury in Canada of well, we, oh, sorry, we have a one that's not a luxury is we don't have a lot of really big guys, right? Our bigs at 19U national team were like 6'8", 6'9", which I know sounds big. It's not that big at that level, right? So, but they're 6'8", 6'9", and they can guard point guards. Like they can move. 
That's a huge advantage. And at that level, the posts aren't good enough yet. They don't have enough game to really take advantage of you yet. Because big guys take a long time to develop, right? So they're just not ready yet. So we switch every ball screen, and they can't take advantage of it. They can't. Big 6'9", Chris Eggie's out there, point guard, star guy playing uh, pro A, uh, ACB in Spain. He's guarding him. Can't get past him. What a luxury. Oh, what a luxury. And I started taking it to our team is, if you can guard one-on-one, -on -one, if I can just guard my player, boy, we got a chance to be pretty good, pretty good defensively, right? Really good. Three things you're trying to do defensively, right? Three teams, every team, right? I mean, the other team might run some flex screens, some staggers, whatever. You're not losing the game because they killed you on a bunch of stagger screens. You're not. You're losing because you couldn't guard penetration, you couldn't play transition defense, or you couldn't guard the ball screen. That's today's game. Those three things, if you can't, you're in trouble, right? But those are the three things you have to do. And that's kind of what we focused on a lot. But we do a ton of short closeout, long closeout, one-on-one. -on -one. So all we're working on is our footwork, okay? They're gonna pitch, they're gonna run half the distance, they're gonna squeak shoes half the distance, okay? They're gonna get high hands. For us, we force, we can, okay? So here, I can play up him a little bit. I can straddle his right leg. My nose is on his right shoulder. This hand is here. This hand is here. Ball, I'm into him. The other concept is this, and I'll go, go to the top, Joe, so I can demonstrate this, right? We teach this as well. I'm not sure you can get away with this at your level. You may not, but I'll throw it at you anyways, is make contact with him, right? Don't drive and make me look bad, Joe, right? But I close, ball, good. Touch him, hit him, hit him in the, hit him right there, hit him, touch him, every time. Most of the time, even if he puts it on the ground, right, that one touch will allow me to keep in front of him and we'll be let go. It's almost never called, okay? I'm high hands, but a really key concept is this. And I stole this from another coaching friend of mine. I wanna make him feel as though he is being attacked. Okay, you think about that concept. I want to make him feel as though he is being attacked. I want to get into him as much as I can. I want him to be aware of me more than he is anything else on the floor. Okay, so one way to do that is big voice, big hands, and make contact with him. Touch him. Get into him every single time. Okay, so we're going to do this. We'll go closeouts. Okay, we go five spots. Offense gets three dribbles, but... You must cross over or spin at least once. They're going to go one dribble, two this way, two dribble, one this way, whatever it is. They can go either way to start. Ready, guys, go. Here we go. And we just work closeouts. And we work closeouts a ton. Good. Good. And it's dead. Next guy. Ready? Where's your voice? Where's your voice? Where's your voice? Where's your voice? Good. Next guy. I'm going to start to get upset here if some guy doesn't say something. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One spot. And we're just moving around the key. And in theory... Their stance should change a little bit depending on where it is on the floor. We're always going to force weak hand, which is fine. But as we get more to the middle, we're going to close it a bit. As we get more to the outside, we can open. But as we get more to the middle, we should close it. I'm still forcing here, but I'm closing my stance to try to take away middle penetration as much as possible, right? Up top, I'm almost square. I'm square, but a half step over. On this side, I can really overplay. Okay, again, forcing him to do as we can, but I can play higher. Keep going, guys. A couple more and we'll figure it out. Okay? Any questions about anything we're doing here? I'm starting basic, and I'm hoping to get a little more complicated to sort of at least give everybody something here. Okay? Keep going. Keep going. What are we waiting for? Hands are down. Hands are down. Hands are down. Good, good, good. Kill it there, kill it there. Give me one more. Darm, come on up here. Good. Keenan's there. Amir, guard him. Good. Darm is there. Good. Mike, can I get you in the corner, please? Okay. Here we go. Match up. Match up two on two, please. Match up two on two. Now, we go two on two, and we rotate. 
Okay, let's go wider for these guys. We've done this drill two different ways. So now we're starting to progress a little bit. We're getting into him, and now it's a shorter closeout. Right? We're not closing out from the baseline, we're closing here. Ball is there. Amir must show big to discourage middle penetration. He's on the nail. Okay? The nail is the nail hole in the floor that they put in to draw the circle. Okay? Every court has one. Every, every wood court has one. Okay? He's guarding there. He's got the nail. Pass goes across. He closes. Darm sprints to nail. Darm sprints to nail. For us, because we're very much weak hand, on this side of the floor, he would probably only come to about here. Okay? Because we know Amir's not, or, yeah, Amir's not getting beat this way anyways. So I don't care about that as much. Right? Amir, like, we'll talk about our rotations here, but look, Amir shouldn't get beat that way. Good. Okay? You guys play catch a couple times. When the ball goes to me, so it goes to me, Darm's dropping. Now, for the sake of this drill, Dom, you rotate to me. I'll drive it. Dom rotates. Pass comes out. Amir's got the first pass. Dom's got the second pass. Live two on two. Okay? Really simple concept we're working on closeouts. Couple short ones, couple long ones. Go ahead, guys. Here we go. Couple games to catch. Here we go. Go, Dom. Go, Dom. Go, Dom. Good. Now, Amir did a bad job of spraying the nail and didn't stunt out the drive. Flip, flip over to D. Flip over to D. Let's do it again. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Well done. Great job, guys. Great job. Okay. Any question about anything I did there? No, random, shout it out, yell at me. Maybe I'll wait for the end, but. Okay, pretty simple concepts, but are some really key things are this, is how big are we showing to the ball? This is something we've had trouble with, right? As our guys jump to the ball, they're on help side. Are they like this? Right? Are they like this? Are they showing big? Right? When I get the ball here, do I think, oh yeah, I got a lane? Or am I thinking, yeah, nothing there, got to move it? And this is the thing about 24 second shot clock. It's something I've noticed, not all countries, but happens oftentimes overseas. Italy's big on this. Right? Uh, Spain, not as much. Greece, a little bit, right? Is the concept is this. That we, we, in North America, we talk about a lot of times overplaying, pressuring him. But when you have a 24 second shot clock, they have to shoot. Sooner or later, they're going to shoot soon. Why get out of position? You guys want to pass the ball way out there? Fine. Just don't pass it this way. Just don't drive it this way. Right? It's an interesting concept. I'm not totally sold on that. We believe in pressuring a lot more, but it's just an interesting kind of way of thinking, depending on your personnel a little bit. Okay? Uh, let's go. I want to get it right into skeleton. Let's go. I need everybody here. Three-man skeleton drills. Quickly. Let's go. Yeah. Don be left side. Mike be corner. Nick be there. Good. Are we ready? Here we go. Let's go. Match up. Match up. Match up. Match up. Good. Now. Okay. We'll start with it here. Good. All we're doing is repping rotations. Right? But over and over and over and over. Now, I'd have many guys on the sideline. We get one rep of it, they flood off, they come on hard. And we just keep going and going and going. Different reps of different scenarios. This is something we do usually after warm-up in practice. It's right away. Again, we're not necessarily get doing conditioning, we're not doing skill work. We're repping our minds, right? We're decision training a little bit. So where are we right now? Raj? And Raj, you're showing big, right? Good. Even turn to me slightly more. Good, right? Good, we're there, we're there, we're there, good, okay? This ball comes, don't drive it yet. Actually, no, let's not be there. Raj, you're off right now. Okay, let's only do three guys. So only three guys, good, okay? I skip, jump to the ball, see where we are, good. Z was in the nail, now, here's a different concept for you, I'll throw at you. I, I, I don't know, 15 years ago, I started teaching the concept of wall. I took that from 
a guy named Dick DiVenzio wrote a book called Stuff Good Players Should Know. Unbelievable book, right? But the help side, we called it The Wall. And when I was coaching high school ball, it began, it kind of spread across. Lots of people do that now, right? They call it The Wall, right? We've taken that a different way further. We no longer call it The Wall because I'm trying to create more accountability. So we have me and cover. So at any given circumstance, right, there's someone who's the helper. He is the me. He's saying me because he's telling the rest of his teammates, I'm going. When this guy gets beat, it's me. I'm going. Okay? Because what do you want in help defense? What the two worst scenarios are what? Two guys go to help, and the worst, and the second worst is, sorry, worst is no one goes to help. Second worst is two guys go to help. Both bad, right? So we're trying to catch in other words, we know who's helping. We know. Okay? So in this scenario, who's the me? Darm's the me, who's the cover? Cover is the guy that's helping the me. And then you'll have a third guy, and you may never get to this in your teams, that's got to. We've got a me, we've got a cover, we've got a got to. In this case, Ziwa's got two. Okay? So let's go from here, live from here. Good. Darn, I'll play it, and we'll X out. Ready? Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. good. And we're back. Good. Ready? Go again, again, again. Here, go, here, go. Stop, 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 stop. Now, made it tough, right? Nick slid up in the lane. Keenan didn't take away that pass to Nick. He's got to come up and actually jam him and make it more difficult. Okay? Another rep, another rep, another rep. Here we go, here we go. I got ball, I got ball. I got ball. I got two ball, I got first pass. Yeah, I got that, I got that. Good, excellent, okay? Get the concepts, good. Bring it up top, guys, bring it up top, bring it up top. Three along here. Nick, you got it, Nick, you got it. Here right up top, go. Three across, stunts now, okay? Stunts, stunts, stunts. Now, one, two dribbles, one, two dribbles. We stun hard at the ball. Let's do it first, then I'll talk about it with the coaches, go. Good, now, 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 okay, hold on, stop. So one thing is, we've got pretty young guys here, for the most part, Keen's not that young. So, is their voice sucks right now. Not gonna lie to you guys, right? You've got to be louder, okay? We're working on stunting. Stunting is faking on defense. All fakes should be violent. They should be aggressive. Right? That's not a fake. Right? That's not a fake. So, we're big here. Because we force we can. We're dropping a little more here, right? We're showing big to the ball. Zero can be a little closer, right? But if Nick puts it on the ground once, I've got to come help and get back. I've got to jab at him. I'm not going to help, which every one of your kids will do this. They will all do it like this. Go back again, Nick. Go. Just dribble and pass. Help! Pass. That's not what I'm talking about. Don't stay until he throws it. Do it again, please. Good. He dribbles it. Help! Good. And I'm back at the same time as the ball. Notice what I did when he caught it, by the way. Touched him. Right? Every time. Now, as it comes around, Dawn will, Dawn will drive it. Dawn will stunt it. Good. But now, hold on, make the pass, Don. This pass, before, as Dorm's on his way back, okay, Zewa's gonna stunt the pass. So I want Nick to think that draw, he's coming to me, right? So he's gotta stunt, help! Right? They all gotta stunt. Okay, let's try and do it better, gentlemen. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Bigger voice, bigger voice. Good, stunt the pass, Zewa, good. Now we're there, good, good, good. Drive it, stunt him, back, good. Stunt him, back, stunt the pass, stunt the pass. Good, 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 kill it there, well done, good. Any questions about that? About anything? Yes? Good, tough one. 
Great question. So the question is, how do you teach the closeouts when the ball comes to the right side, right, from the left? Because it's tough. So what Coach is talking about is this, right? So if Nick, give it back to Nick actually. I think, tell me, I think this is what you're saying. So if you drive it and I stunt, pass, I have to recover all the way to this side, don't I? Is that kind of what you mean? Well, in theory, I don't have to stunt that one very much. Do you know why? Because he doesn't get beat right. Does that make sense? In theory. Now, does he? Yes. I'll show you a couple other rotations. You know what's a really big rotation? A really important rotation in the game, all right? If this happens, come, come, Ziwa, right? If this happens, you know what the rotation is? Ziwa, go over there. Right off the court. That's the rotation. It's a great rotation. It works really well, right? Really well. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. Uh, let's go back again. Lock spot drive, but slightly different. Nick going the post this time. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, go there. Go there. Go there. Go there. Go there, Don. Good. We ready? We ready? We ready? Ready? Good. 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 Now. We'll front the post on this side. We're coming here. Ball comes in. Go, Ziva. Go, Ziva. Go, Ziva. Drop, drop, drop. Sorry, bad pass. Do it again. My fault. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, Louder, Darm. Good, good. Nissen. Got play. Good, good, good. Nice deflection. Good. Go again. Go again. Go again. Go again. Good, good. Ready? 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 Good, good, good. good. Go. Now stop. What should happen there? What should happen there, Keenan? Absolutely. Attack side of it. Let's do it again. Right? Z was helping, right? You got cover. Now hold on. If he's the me on the lob and you're the cover, you're supposed to do what as the cover? Help him, right? So if I throw to his guy, you're helping him. Where are you going? Perfect. Let's try this again. Ready? Good, 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 good. Go, 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 go. Good. Bam. Swing it, swing it, swing it. Good. Swing it. Good. Here we go. Front there. Good. Double, 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 double. Good. Get there, get there, get there. Nice job. Nice job. Well done, gentlemen. Well done. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Non-front. Go again. Okay. Get it a little farther out, Nick. Good. Arms behind him. Okay. Ball's in. Play. Good. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Okay. Stop it there. Go again. Get to the lane line. Get to the lane line on offense. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Trap it. Good, good, good. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Good. Now bring that back. Now bring that back. Good. So one of the things, again, we teach, and this is just repped. So as soon as the possession got out and reversed once, the three people on defense immediately leave the court. Three new people on. We go again. Like it's rep, 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 rep. Okay? So what we teach is the ball goes inside. He gets it off the block. Good. Darm's job is no middle. Nick tries to get middle. Okay, stop, freeze. Okay, you're saying Keenan is the me. You're the cover. Got it? So Darm's job is this. When he gets to the lane line, he's got to turn him baseline. And now the me goes. Right? Now the me goes. Ball comes in. Go hard cover. Good. Play him. Darm's job is don't let him go over this way. Don't let him throw that way. Make him turn back and play. Make him turn back and play. Yes? Okay. Any questions about that? Good. Last one. Up top. Up top. Up top. Don, you got it. Nick in the block. Mike, you're there. Perfect. Match up, guys. Match up. Match up. Match up. Hardest rotation. Maybe not the hardest. Second hardest. Okay. Really hard. Okay. Come a little farther this way. Perfect. Good. Okay. Drive happens top. Drive it hard. Go. Darm's got to get to the charge circle. No, too high, Darm. Too high. Lower the better. Heels above the charge circle. Big. Ziwa's got this. Good. So we always want to help off this side of the floor. Why do we want to help off this side of the floor? Because then he's got to throw it this side. Right? So now... What we're giving up is the left-handed cross-court hook pass. How many of your kids are really good at that? 
Probably not very many, right? That's what we're trying to give up. Okay? Left-handed, cross-court, hook passes. They're hard. Okay? Ready? Here we go. I got the ball here. I got the ball here. Good. We're there. Good. We're here. We're here. Good. 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 Come. Good. Bam. Good. Rotate. Good. And close. Go. Go again. Go again. Go again. Good. We got it. We got it. We got it. Good. Here we go. Close. Good. 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 Now, that might happen. Let's go up again. Go up again. Let's say Keenan gets beat clean. Keenan gets beat clean. Drop Ziwa. Pass goes. Keenan, that's yours. Right. Good. That's our rotation, okay? These are things we try to do every day. Every, there's one more that I won't even show you that's more four and four, and it's, uh, it's even tougher. But it's, I mean, all the tough rotations are the ones where someone drives down the middle. Guess what? Don't let them drive down the middle. I don't care what defense you're playing, any defense in the world. If they can go right down the middle of the key, that's hard to deal with. I don't care what you're doing. That's hard. Right? Maybe the side, maybe the lane line, you can make some rotations. But if they're coming down the gut, whoo, you're in trouble. Okay? Every defense in the world, I've seen that. Okay? All right. Moving on. Um, dude, how much time do I got? I got 14. Let's show the whole thing. Let's show. Give me, uh, give me five guys on D. All five on D, please. Good. Let's go quickly. Joe, we need you. Joe, we need you. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Five guys on D. Nick in the block. Mike, you're there. Don, you're here. I'm out here. We got it? We're good? Raj, go on offense right there. Perfect. Match up, match up, match up. Good. We got it? Good. Keith, I need you. Quick, come here. Take this spot. Perfect. You're here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now. Go away. Go away for now. Perfect. Now, let's take a look at this, okay? Ball gets swung. We work on this all the time. All the time. All the time. Good. Now he's playing it. I'm on the left side. He's overplaying me hard. Okay? Who's the me? Who's the cover? Who's got two? Good. Okay? All right. We're coming on it. You've got it. You've got cover. Now, hold on. Sajin, raise your hand. Sajin's the who Sajin is, right? Sajin's job, what we feel, is this. Don't let me make that pass. I don't care about that pass. This is the pass that every offense wants, right? For the open three. Take that pass away. Okay? Ball is here. Okay? So, we'll move it around. Dribble offense. Stunt the ball. Stunt the ball. Okay? We'll drive it hard and play. Ready? We can dribble, we can dribble it. Stunt. Good, 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 good. Stunt. Move it around. Good, good. Good. Now, stop. So I made you do it. Excellent. So let's do that in slow motion. Let's see what happened. You guys got to figure it out. I already tell they're bad at this. We need to work on this. Good. Do it in slow mo. What happened? Me. Cover. Sajin, take it away. Joe's got two right now. Right? I go. One of you guys got to sprint to Keith. That's the cleanup man. We're good. Okay? So what are we giving up in this? We're giving up the cross-court pass, falling out of bounds with your left hand over the trap. That's what we're giving up. I like those odds. Right? Those make sense to me. All right? If that's what we give up, okay, if you can do that, Good for you, all right? Okay? Now, yeah, there's more to that. Obviously, there's a few other things to it. Some other stuff we gotta do, okay? Questions about that? No? You wanna see it again? No, okay, let's get these guys off. Give me the young guys on the floor. Give these guys a hand, please, well done. Hey, CP guys, come on out, come on out, come on out. I need bodies, I need bodies, come on out. Can I have that ball? Perfect, I need coaches to stick around though. And I need a seven second shot clock, please. Seven second shot clock, it should be reset B. Good, let's go, let's go, let's go quickly. Some of you guys can keep your shirts on or, or switch to red, so we get half red, half white, quickly. Okay, remember when I said three things we gotta defend? What were they, remember? I'm quizzing you now. What are the three things we gotta defend? Penetration. Transition. 
ball screens. We have to defend those three things. And really, to be honest with you, defensively, that's our whole practice. We do some one-on-one -on -one footwork. We do a fair bit of one-on-one -on -one footwork, actually, which is really defending penetration, right? And we work on defending those three things. We briefly show them something, how we're going to tail staggers or whatever. But at our level, and, and you guys are, it's all coming down to you anyways if it hasn't already, is we'll see between 70 and 100 ball screens or dribble handoffs a game. A game. So if you don't know, what you, if you can't guard it, you have a problem. And at our level, unfortunately, you get multiple ways to guard it. Okay, multiple ways to guard it. All right, what if the guy can shoot it? What if he can't? What if they hit the roll every time? What if the roll, pop screen guy's a pop guy? What if they, whatever, right? So, okay, perfect. Give me uh, white jerseys here. Coach, do you want to push him in and push him out? Good, we got it here. Awesome, good. Give me red, give me, uh, you go red, you go red. Perfect, go down there. You guys go on the end line, please, okay? All we're doing in this is working on our transition D a little bit and our communication out of it. It's not a true scenario, but then I'm going to throw a couple things at you that maybe are, and we'll see if they can do it, okay? Give me two reds on the floor. Give me one white on the floor right here. White's got to have your toes in the three, on the three-point line. Perfect, go a little wider, okay? Really simple. All I'm going to do is pitch him the ball. We're going to play two-on-one. But you've got to start there, right? You're the first person back. You know what you're going to say? You're going to say basket really loud. And you're going to sprint. Turn if you have to. Okay? Sprint back. Especially when you get it about right down here. You're going to turn and go basket, basket, basket. Telling your team that you've got the basket. Now it's two on one. Your guy's job is to attack. Okay? You can fake at him. You can try to take a charge. You can fake and try to steal it. Okay? Whatever you want to do. Offense, you have seven seconds to score. I think that's a lot. I'd probably drop it to five, or five for our guys for sure. These guys, I think, seven. You can only score on the first shot or a tip in. That's it. So you can tip it in, right? Or you can score on the first shot. That's all you guys got. Next players, be ready to come on the floor immediately. Next player, be ready to come on the floor immediately. We ready? Go. Nick, I need a ball. Next guy is ready, go, ready, 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 go, 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 push, 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 push. In the wrong reset. I need a ball, I need a ball, I need a ball. Ready? Next guy is ready, 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 go. Push it at him, go, 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 go. Good, now you gotta talk more. Now hold on. Now Marcus, you gotta talk, right? You gotta come on this here, and you're saying, I got basket, I got basket, all the way down. And all those people have to hear you. Okay, do you want my mic? You sure? Okay, here we go. Go, go. Yeah, I got basket, I got basket. Nice job, Marcus. Push it out, push it out. Let's go. Let's go right away, right away. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go. I got basket, I got good. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ball, ball, ball. Good, good. Go. I got basket, I got basket. Stunt at him. Play, stunt, fake, stunt, fake. Good, good, good. Now, flip it, flip it. O to D, O to D, O to D, quickly. So what we'll do, and I'll build on this, we'll start to build on it right now, and you'll see how it kind of comes together, right, is we play competitive five possessions, flip, five possessions, we have rolling score, so score just keeps building, right? Good. Give me three guys, please, on offense. Give me two guys on D. Both are here, okay? Both are here, toes in the line. Now, one of you will have basket, one of you guys has the ball. Now, when I say ball, we go, we got you three on? But well, let's say I throw here, right? I don't want you to run at him and try to stop him. Because he's going to throw over your head, right? So Baz, let's say you had basket, right? You're sprinting back hard. My job is to slow him down. Take an angle. Come at me. Come at me. Come at me. Good. Good. Come on, guys. Come, come, come. Good, good. And I got to try to slow him. Try to slow him. See what I mean? See how I'm kind of getting him off his line, right? So you got basket. You've got ball. Okay? Whatever happens, if you're the basket guy, don't leave the basket. So I don't care if he pitches to an open three-point shooter. You can't leave the hoop and give up a layup. Whatever happens, don't leave the basket. You know the old three-on-two where the bottom guy goes out? 
Yeah? And the top guy, no, stare. Don't leave the basket. Okay? We ready? Here we go. Go, go, push it, go. Don, can I have a ball? Next guys, next guys, they're done. Ready? Ready? Hurry, 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 go, push. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, no, too long, too long. Ready, go. Push it at him. Go, go. Okay, hold on. Stop. They lose. Automatic bucket. No one talked. No one talked. Automatic bucket. Let's go. On the line. On the line, on the line, on the line. Who's with him? Who's with him? Quick, quick, quick. Go, Marcus. Go, Marcus. Stop. Not enough talk. Automatic bucket. You get off. What are you going to say, guys? What are you going to say? And? Good. Ready? Go. Basket, basket. Don't leave the basket. Don't leave the basket. Great. Great example. He leaves the basket. We give up a layup. Don't leave the basket. Okay? What's the most efficient way to score? I don't hear anybody saying it. No, not layups. Technically, I mean, a wide open, no one's around you layup dunk is yes. Technically, free throws are the highest efficiency number, right? Then shots at the rim. Then threes, right? So we're trying to take that away. We're trying to not foul. We're trying to not give up shots at the rim. And last, we're trying to not give up threes. Ideally, what we'd love to give up is contested mid-range shots, right? Contested mid-range shots lose you games, right? They do. Okay, unassisted contested mid-range shots get you fired, right? They lose you lots of games, okay? All right? Ready? Let's go four and three, quickly. Flip it, flip it, ODD. ODD, flip it, quick, hurry. Right here, right here, right there. Right here, right there. Good, now, now, now. Let's change it up a little bit. So can I have one of those lights? Please go on the baseline, okay? And now I've got four guys on the court who are playing, right? Four guys. So what do you think you're going to do now? These guys are already working it out. Hey, you go, you go, basket. You go, you go, you got them. Right? Good job, guys. That's all right. Good. That'll hurt you later on, but that's okay. We'll get it now, right? So now I'm going to throw it. Someone's going to have basket. Someone's going to have ball. Okay? Kyla, you're going to have next. Okay? So Kyla is the next guy down the floor. So he'll take wherever the ball gets passed to. Okay? So you're getting the next pass. So you're going to be behind the ball handler. Wherever he throws it to, you follow that. You got him. We got it. Ready? Here we go. Go! Say it, Kyler. Say it. Say it. Say it. Drop there. Drop there. Don't leave the basket. Nice job, guys. New people in. New people in. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I need two more there. I need two more there. Coach, you have a ball. Mike, ball, please. Ready? 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 Go! Voice! 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 Next, 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 next. Nobody got him. That's okay. We guarded the hoop. That's all right. Next guys, next guys, next guys. Hey, remember, basket, ball, next. Got it? Okay, go. Run sprinter, Marcus. Sprint ahead, sprint ahead. Sprint ahead, sprint ahead, sprint ahead. Good, good, good. Now, remember the concept we showed you at the very first drill? And we talked about showing big to the ball, right? Really important in transition D. Something our guys do poorly. Transition D is essentially zone, right? It's essentially zone. So I'm running. When I get to here, I've got to be like this. I've got to show big to the ball. What that'll do is it takes away passes through the lane. Takes away passes through the lane. Try it one more time, guys. Here we go. Show big. So now sprint back and show big. Ready? Ready? Go. Sprint back. Go. Quick. Get your hands up when you get in front of it. Good, good, good. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Good. Not bad. Didn't get our hands up the last guy. Our next guy getting the hands up. Good. Now we can add to that. Now we have, okay? Now we have basket, ball, next, next. And then usually, Occasionally, for a joke, I'll name the fifth guy, whoever the slowest guy in our team is. 
So if Dawn is crappy at getting back on defense, I'll oftentimes, okay guys, we have basket, ball, next, next, and Dawn. But you gotta say Dawn, Dawn, Dawn. We're just ridiculing Dawn because he doesn't run back on defense, right? Okay, good, all right. Last thing, really common drill that a lot of people do, and I wanna show you a different way to do it because I just thought I'd shake it up a little bit. You guys are probably all doing this. Give me five reds along the baseline, five whites match up to them, good. Okay, really common, you've done this, seen it before on some fancy video and then everybody picked it up and did it and we think it's good and I don't, I don't particularly think it's that great. Okay, you've seen this before, right? And I number them and I go one and three and I throw it and we all go, right? Yes, maybe not. If you haven't, that doesn't, you're not, you're not hurting yourself if you haven't, right? A lot of times it just ends up being chaos in my opinion. Okay, so now we want to create some structure and organization to it. So I'm going to do this to it, okay? You guys flip. Good. Red's still on offense. I'm giving Red a big advantage now. Okay? Now, I'm just going to call the name, okay, of the person. I'm going to call one of the white team, okay? I'm going to yell your name, and you're going to have to go and touch the baseline, and then you're back on D. Do we understand? What? You have an idea who's going to be the first one? Who do you think is going to be the first one? Me. Mark, I would never do that to you, Marcus. Okay. <laughs> Marcus thinks I'd pick on him. Okay, ready, guys? Here we go. Marcus, here we go. Throw it, throw it, throw it, my man. Good, good, good. Come back, come back, come back. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Try the same thing. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go, go same spot. Everyone do the same thing. Everyone do the same thing. Look at your first big. Look at your first big. Look at your first big. Look, Don's running right on the floor, man. Ready? Go, Marcus. Here we go. Good. Now, I teach you this first because this is the first thing we got to know. Now come back. Now come back. Now come back. I'm going into OT here. They screw up every time like this. So now I've had, just by me flipping those two people, it's a better drill. Why? How do you guys do this now? I've given him a huge advantage. He's going to be open every time, isn't he? So what do you guys have to do? Walk. Who do you have in this drill? Who are you guarding? Wrong. Who are you guarding in this drill? What? No? No, you're not. A layup in transition is a layup on all of us. So as soon as I make that pass, you guys have basket, you have ball. Right? You have next. You have next. You have dawn. Right? We got it? So when I pass him the ball, you guys have to pick him up. Yes? Ready? Go. Run. Basket. Who's got basket? Who's got basket? Nice job. Ah, he missed it. He missed it. Great job. Great job. Great job. Good. Okay, give these guys a hand. Well done. Well done. Well done. Okay. So I just tried to take a few things that everybody does, zigzag, whatever, and change them and make them better. If you have any drill you've been doing for 15 years, it's probably not good anymore. But you can probably take it and change it and make it better. Right? With a little tweak and a little something. Okay? I'm going to give all these drills to Adam in Fast Draw. Adam will send them out or put them online or whatever. I have a thousand more. Okay? Here's what you got to do. You got to email me, kirby.shep at umanitoba.ca. I won't get back to you. Then you'll email me again and I'll say, oh shit, I didn't get back to that person. And then I'll probably get back to you. Okay? And I'll probably send you stuff. But I, I got tons I'm more than happy to share. Okay? Thanks everybody. Appreciate it.